we are in the April, we are in the spring. Welcome to Queen Charlie Royal Rich Show. Hi Charlie, how are you? Hi Ian. Well, the flags are out for you, Charlie. Oh. Can you see? It's Queen's Charlie show, as you can see. Oh, Queen Charlie show! Absolutely. Oh my but God. it's it's also mm -hmm. for the new royal baby due this month. It's the April show, and it's the royal baby show as well. So the baby he's gonna be in this this month, or which month the baby she's gonna born? Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The baby comes soon. April. 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 Okay. So we expect a new baby in April. We expect a new baby in April. Hat is so nice. She looks beautiful. She's always looking radiant. So what do you think about her, her clothes color? I like it. so excited I was it's the first time I've ever seen the royal family oh. other than being on TV and I, I see them on TV and stuff but you know uh, Kate was wearing this soft petal pink it was beautiful I loved it so what about Queen the color she's wearing what color is it um, Queen was wearing beige oh. Oh, like a really nice soft beige it was oh. really beautiful you like the steel you like the more than the steel I 
I think that everything that they were doing and wearing was beautiful. Kate looked beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. I hope next week we come again. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye. It was Bye. so exciting. Bye. Football is the sport for the royal family. Prince William is teaching his son to play football. Prince William is president of Football Association. Now we are going to talk to Andy how to teach the young people to play the football. Hello Andy. Hello Charlie, how are you? I'm fine, nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about football. Oh, football, uh, foot, football is my passion. Football is something I really like. So um, for me, football is like a second chance in life. Um, how do you say, I've been in football for, for a while now. So I think I had opportunity to, to know about football, to learn about football. Uh, what I'm saying is second chance. Football gave me a second chance to be outside of uh, trouble when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's a really good thing now. Um, hard enough to try to help other ch children to be out of trouble, like uh, being straight, not doing anything. So football just going to help them to keep them busy by learning some different things and having a second education. Oh, that's, that's good. Which age group are you looking for? Uh, we're looking for from the age of 5 to 21. So we don't really mind, you know. we just trying to help kids. Uh, that's, that's all I can say. So we, we have opportunity also, clubs coming around to see the young people. So why not to try to help them? So it's not really all about football, but like I'm saying, education, you know, keep them busy, which is good, I think. And how often are you doing and where's the place? Uh, we do uh, our training uh, on Wednesday from 6 to 8 and uh, Friday 6 to 8 as well, uh, which is in um, New River in uh, Aringeboro. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's close to Wood Green Station. Okay. I would like to invite all the parents and the kids and the families and in different communities to come and join us. That will be good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the show. See you again. Bye. Bye. Hello. Today we are going to talk about reshaping and garment, how to help a special for mother. This is something Kate can you wear. Hello, can you introduce yourself please? Hello, I'm Emma Brady and I'm here to talk about our fantastic reshaping garment. Uh, this is the flagship, the Body Magic, designed by Dr. Lionel Kelly, who is an orthopedic surgeon. And the garment was actually designed to support the back, to help correct posture um, and to support the spine. Okay, so this uh, garment is truly magic. It's named the Body Magic, it's our flagship. Um, it's made of power net, which is a really strong material that they use in hospitals. <clears throat> it's breathable, uh, so it will keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. 
it's actually designed um, with a panel in at the front, which actually pulls your stomach right in. So you will actually get the effect of a tummy tuck instantly. The garment, as you can see, also stops underneath the breasts. All of our garments stop underneath the breasts. Uh, this is because everybody's breasts are different. So we really do want an ideal fit for everybody. So as you can see, there's boning around the garment and this actually pulls us in and smooths out all the loved handles around the side. So it gives you a smooth hourglass look. The garment, as you can see, goes quite up on the shoulders on this garment and it's designed to actually pull your shoulders back. As you can see, that boning going right down the back is there to support your spine. My, hello, my name is Jasmine, and I'm talk, uh, talk to you today about the Angel Bra. The Angel Bra is a healthy bra, which means that it ensures that your breasts are healthy. It lifts your breasts to the correct position, therefore creating proper drainage. Another feature of the Angel Bra is that it has no underwire. Now we are going to see how this one works before and after. And this is the look. Wow, this is so amazing. What do you think about that? Very great, amazing. I'm so happy, you know. This is a miracle walker.
Jasmine. Hi, Charlie. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today. Yeah, I loved it. Did you see the royal family? I loved watching the royal family come into uh, St. Paul's Cathedral. Um, the queen was wearing teal. She was matching the sashes of Will. And um, she even like pulled in a little of the blue that um, Kate was wearing. Kate was wearing navy blue. So it was really nice. It, a lot of the coats out here in Britain, I noticed they're, they're frock-like. Mm -hmm. They look like uh, something that was stellar that you can still wear on top of your garment and still look really beautiful. So what about the steel on the fashion? I think that the fashion for the royal family is always going to be classic and uh, it goes along even with their makeup. The makeup fashion is always always classic mm -hmm. and I think that it's going to be something that everybody can resemble. Yeah. The Everybody uses like soft petal pink and um, Kate's skin look flawless because she's a mom to be again yeah. and also the Queen's face looked beautiful she wore a little little bit of hints of pink so I like that oh. I hope we enjoyed today and we are so hot I know it's freezing but we enjoy it thank you we see you again bye. Bye. bye bye hello there if you would like to learn a lot more about the royal family and how royal children have been raised from Victorian times through to today Come and join Helena, Shard and myself on citycruises.com and we are going to give a series of lectures as you sail down the Thames. We really look forward to seeing you. Hello, now we are going to talk about the gift. Well, fizz and flowers are the perennial favourites for many gifting occasions, not least when a new baby arrives on the scene. But what we try to do at Happy Box London is to invest that gift giving moment with a little more creativity. So we offer customers the ability to start with effectively an empty hamper and to cherry pick the items that go in so that they can make it a really thoughtful and appropriate gift for that recipient, whether that's a first edition book or a cashmere blanket or a beautiful candle or some fantastic popping champagne truffles. Hopefully a little, a little more appropriate and thoughtful. Is it there an etiquette to sending a gift? Yes, there is a lot of etiquette associated with all gift giving really and quite a lot associated with the moment when you're gifting a new baby. So we see, for example, a desire, an appropriate desire to give the gift as soon as possible to mark this new arrival, which is such a significant moment for a new family, um, which is why actually we've recently introduced a same day gift delivery service in London so that you can be first on the scene with your congratulations. It's also really lovely if you can try and think about the family that you are gifting. There's a mother, a father. Often we suggest that the gift giver includes a gesture for them as well as just another gift for the new baby and finally it's often quite nice to remember any other children that might be in the household because it can be a bit of a tricky time for them when the attention's all on the newborn and obviously at the moment there's a great excitement around the imminent arrival of a new royal baby um, and we have um, in our business a collection of gifts that seem particularly appropriate for that moment we have a best of British collection which is designed to celebrate the very best that the country can offer um, a lot of suppliers who have royal warrants so for example Penhaligans, um, Prestat. Uh, we also stock gifts from David Lindley, a fantastic um, craftsman who is the nephew to the Queen. We offer a wide range of gifts, not only for the newborn, but for mum, dad, and also any existing children that might be in the household already. Um, we offer a lot of products that hold royal warrants, um, including brand suppliers like Penhaligans, Corny and Barrow, Prestat, Ettinger. And we also stock Lindley products as well. How can your people find all your gift? Well, we're an online business, so we can be found at happyboxlondon.com, where um, you can create your own gift, or alternatively, of course, you can call us and we'll be delighted to help. Hello, now we are going to talk to Eva. She hello. creates the new clothes and we need to know about the clothes. Hi Eva. Hello, hello. My name is Eva Juhas and uh, I'm from Hungary, but at the moment I'm working in uh, uh, London and I, I designed a, a new top for mothers uh, which they can use outside in public places like in this park without any harm and it's a really br brilliant idea I believe as, uh, as it keeps the baby uh, between these two layers mm. so here is a really discreet slash 
for the for the uh, breast mm -hmm. and uh, they can just really put their their beloved child uh, among these uh, two layers and they can feel uh, safe and uh, and uh, beautiful. Mm. How long have you been in this job? I started uh, with this top uh, in December mm -hmm. and I, I started uh, to just build up my uh, business uh, for mothers. Actually at the, at the moment I'm really just focusing on these uh, breastfeeding tops okay. and I would like to uh, uh, expand my business for, uh, for other items as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done some uh, uh, dresses to start with mm -hmm. so for the summer it's uh, it's gonna be really brilliant it's beautiful colors and uh, and beautiful materials uh, mixed together so it's a really good choice uh, yeah, for good. the summer mm -hmm. can you tell me exactly where the mother they can wear this clothes because it looked like a special clothes yes and can you tell me where they can exactly they can wear it? I would really wear it with, with a, a simple trousers as well. Uh, however, if somebody feels this is a bit uh, too much on the street, I have some uh, other other uh, tops uh, which is a bit uh, uh, casual. Mm -hmm. And because I believe this uh, this maybe it's better if, if you go for a party with oh. the baby, you know, like and you want to present yourself very um, elegant in the same time as you need to feed your baby as well. Oh, that's very interesting. I think this clothes is for special for mother want to feed the baby outside and you, you, you don't feel to show your breast for anyone, but you want to cover. That's a special clothes. You see how it look like. You can put the baby there and you close. No one can see. It's only you and the baby. And I think it's very important, especially for a woman who have baby. Now we are going to talk to Ronald and Patrina. Hi Charlie, good to see you again. Good to see you too. So this month uh, we're talking about the royal birth expected uh, this month. So what we thought we'd do is we've, uh, we've, we've, we're familiar with a very, very good shop uh, in St. John's Wood called Nature's Healing Garden and we're here to show the sort of juices that uh, babies and kids can get onto once they get to pass the teething stage. See? Now this is a series of um, organic uh, juices. Now mothers are very busy so and they, 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 they might have two kids three kids on the go so this is a very good way to make sure that they're getting organic foods to the babies right you see now what you've got to understand is that um in the last 200 years uh the world has lost seven and a half thousand years of organic matter top topsoil so it's very hard to get good food the nutrition is really poor and it's getting worse and worse this is a way to, to recalculate the actual quality of the food and I'll give you an example take cranberry right now cranberry is an excellent juice for urinary tract and uh, it, any infection with the bladder and so on cranberry juice now and so on and so on now this one with the cherries uh, this this fellow here this one this is an amazing product mm -hmm. this this container is worth every dollar every pound you can get on it um, that contains 2,900 cherries right so 2,900 cherries and that is very heavily concentrated so you don't need a lot of it so the money you pay for it you get it back right mm -hmm. so what's good about the cherries is a lot of kids are short of iron right and cherries is excellent for iron and excellent for vitamin C now one of the recommendations I, I make to all my patients is that I give them this and I tell them to one month before winter to take this right and the way we recommend taking this it's so concentrated you save a lot of money what you do is you you actually mix that with 80% water to 90% water 90% water mm -hmm. and then you put the juice in at 10% okay. so what that does it gives you a very strong drink that kids can absorb right now what happens is that if you don't do that if you give people the kids water only it won't absorb properly if you give juice it's too strong by mixing it at nine to ten parts to one the, the kids then can absorb the food quite easily and it gives them a lot of immune system buildup right so this is a cherry juice right 
So we also have this beetroot juice, which is very high in iron. So anyone who's anemic, it's very good for you to actually drink this juice as well. Um, again, diluted um, in, in portions of uh, 20% or 10% of the juice and 8% water. Here we also have artichoke juice here, which is very good for your kidneys and liver. And again, th this can be diluted with water as well in that 80-20 proportion. Wow, what about this one? This one, um, carrot juice. So carrot juice, as you know, is very good for the eyes. Mm -hmm. So that that's um, again can be either drunk like that or diluted as well with water yeah. and juice. Also, wow. carrot juice. When you take carrot juice, mm -hmm. it gives you a very good, uh, like a tan complexion without the sun. Thank you, Patrina. Thank you, all lads. I hope we enjoy it. If you want to have a good skin, just come and buy, and you'll be more helpful. Thank you. See you again. Bye. Here we go, so link arms into the sunshine and bye.